The arrival of a newly elected Prime Minister at number 10 is well choreographed and well rehearsed. The first 72 hours is a whirlwind of briefings, decisions, phone calls and meetings. One early task for a new Prime Minister that will bring home the immense power of the job is deciding what instructions they would give to commanders of the UK's nuclear deterrent submarines in the event of a nuclear strike. The new Prime Minister will also receive phone calls from international leaders congratulating them on their success. The President of the United States is often first, but each call sends out a diplomatic signal. From the outside, the most visible part of what a Prime Minister is doing is summoning the new Cabinet, with senior politicians heading up Downing Street to be appointed. New Ministers meet with the Prime Minister as well as the Proprietary and Ethics team before their appointment by the King is announced. Any major announcements by the government will also be at the top of their to-do list. The Cabinet Secretary will ask what key meetings the Prime Minister wants to hold in the first few days, what Cabinet committees they want to set up and which key advisers they want to appoint. And finally, becoming a UK Prime Minister is also a huge change to the Prime Minister's personal life. Decisions about their living arrangements, security and an explanation of housekeeping arrangements for Number 10 will all bring home how much their life has been altered by the results of the general election.